While I'm sad in ways, I'm also simultaneously excited about what the future unpackages. As I feel your relationship in marriage is akin to nuclear fusion. That's where you take the union of atomic nuclei with the outcome of releasing enormous quantities of energy and potential. In other words, I feel that your marriage is putting together strong bonds which hold tremendous potential and I believe God-driven purpose. February 2nd, 2019. Dear Cameron, if you are reading this, then I have asked you to marry me. This is something that I've wanted to do ever since we started dating. I don't know what job I have at the moment, or if I even have one, but one thing I do know is that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to wake up every morning next to your beautiful face. I want to go on adventures with you. I want to have beautiful mixed babies with you and raise a family. I want to grow closer in my relationship with God and with you. See, I told you that being 2,000 miles apart would be worth it in the end. I can't wait to marry you and start our life together, Cameron Bobo, or should I now say Cameron Woods. I can't believe this is actually happening. I love you, my beautiful bride. Love, Justice. Cameron, words can't describe how happy I am right now. All this time we have spent together the last six years and we're finally here. I struggled to find the words to say to you today. How can I fully describe the magnitude of what you mean to me on just a couple of pages? But here it is. There's no person on this planet that I love more than you. God's word says that his love is patient and kind. And even though nothing can match the love of God, yours is right there behind it. On behalf of the families gathered here today, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you to this special and holy occasion. Paul says, husbands love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Just as of course these words are for you. Paul says that you were to love Cameron in the same way that Christ loved the church. You were to love her without reservation and without limits. Finally, Paul tells you to love Cameron unconditionally. Quite simply, it doesn't matter if she never submits for a single day, an hour or a minute, it doesn't matter if her body falls apart or even if she loses all of her TikTok followers. <laughs> it's an unconditional love that accurately reflects the gospel. Justice, do you give this ring as a symbol of your covenant in Christ and as a symbol of your vow to love and sacrifice for Cameron. I do. Cameron, do you give this ring as a symbol of your covenant in Christ and as a symbol of your vow to honor and submit to justice? I do. You may place the ring. Therefore, by the power of the Holy Spirit and through the authority granted to me by our living God and in accordance with the laws of the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Justice, you may kiss your bride. Yeah.